So what is up guys, you got your boy Jets Stinger here today, and today, 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 we're back with some Reverse 1999 content, and today, we're going to be doing a showcase for Manalia. I did put up a little poll on my community tab, and you guys really did want to see a Manalia showcase, so we're finally going to be showcasing off for you guys. I apologize, I couldn't get out a little bit earlier. I was actually a little bit out having fun yesterday, so I'm going to be able to get the video out for you guys today. So anyway, let's get started, and let's talk about what Manalia does. Manalia is a mental beast carry, and she's actually the first ever rare summon character that was tied to an event. She was the first character in our first ever patch update, which was patch 1.1, the Staff of Remit Cup, which was arguably one of my favorite chap one of my favorite like event stories in the game. Uh, just a little personal thing about me, I loved patch 1.1 with all the passion. So yeah. But anyway, Manalia's whole entire thing is that she's just a raw damage dealer that comes with special effects tied to her ultimate. Her ultimate can give her uh, special effects such as utility from her own card and moxie disruption from another card that she does have. We'll talk about this and why this is a really big thing for Manalia and why she's actually very good for a lot of content in the game. But anyway, let's get started and let's talk about her inheritances, her skills, cube choice, and of course, break down the kit and everything and yeah. So let's talk about her and her inheritances. Her inheritance is at inside one, she gains one stack of fixed plan. Inside two gives her damage dealt plus eight percent, and inside three gives her another stack of fixed plan. So this is basically very, very easy to understand. But the thing about her inheritances is it's all tied to her ultimate. Manalia is the earliest example of a character that really really wants to spam her ultimate and she has many ways to get into the ultimate quicker than most units because of certain tricks that she does have tied to her kit but this is what it looks like right here she only needs three total stacks to get the maximum modifier boost for ultimate which her ultimate already has a really nice modifier on base it is a 650 percent modifier minus p2 so obviously the modifier is higher but having a 722 percent modifier buff just out of the gate once you have your three stacks of uh or your six stats by using your ultimate three times it's pretty good that's arguably probably one of the more higher single target um modifiers that we have for ultimate so again really really good but of course a lot of it is just tied to the ultimate her skills are just you know utility tools she can use to get into her ultimate faster if you do the optimal rotation with her but anyway there's that Let's talk about her skills next. Her skills. So her skill silent takedown is a up to 400% mental damaging attack. It is moxie minus one only at two star and above. And then it is moxie plus one only at three star and above. But if the caster is in thief master, which is what you get from the ultimate, then it takes an additional moxie starting at two star. And it also does, and it also does that on another card that she has as well. So both of her cards kind of get like a unique and powered effect once she's in thief master but for the most part you really just use the silent takedown just as a form of moxie disruption and then you also use it as a form of moxie gain so there's that and if you get a three star cast that's effectively a three star moxie gain in a single turn for monalia which is pretty sick because you get the one for using the card and then you get one here and then you can steal so that's really good so it's one one and one which is pretty pretty darn good if you can get a three star cast of silent takedown that's three moxie gain in a single cast of a skill which is i mean <laughs> that's pretty darn good if you ask me that is pretty darn good next up is our other skill and this one is a little bit more easier it's a, it's a mass attack that has a up to 300 percent mental damage to two enemies and his attack enjoys a leech rate of 20 percent but if the cast is in Thief Master, she gains plus one Moxie and Leech Rate plus 30%. So again, more ways to get Moxie for Manalia. Manalia really wants to be spamming her ultimate as quickly as she can. So all you really need is just to be up in Thief Master's effect. And it's actually going to be tied into her P2, which is actually why it's super important for her. Because it allows her to more easier ways into getting into the ultimate, which I'll talk about in just a moment. But anyway, let's talk about her personal cube choices. You can obviously just throw Luxurious Leisure on her. This is her best cube by no exaggeration. 
uh, one, it gives her ultimate might, which is what she wants anyway, because again, she's an ultimate spammer. She wants to be able to get into her ultimate as quickly as she can and as fast as she can. So you definitely want to use something that's going to give her an ultimate might boost or a cube that can give her an ultimate might boost. And then this effect comes with an additional effect of whenever she uses a single target ultimate, the damage dealt is increased by another 9% being a total stack of three times which is a max of 27 percent which is strong there have been a couple arguments about carrot of a heart on monalia because technically speaking technically speaking monalia can make this cube work she can make this cube work not only because it gives her more crit rate because that is the ideal build for monalia is you want to go crit rate on her anyway but she can quite literally get three moxie in a single turn without much resistance because again her skills are empowered because of thief master all you really need to do is if you even if you just have her at p0 use the aoe skill for the plus one moxie plus using your own card and then use any other regular skill then you have the three moxie that you need and if you even have a two star of silent takedown then that means you can also use that as an alternative to take two moxie away from the opponent which is still an alternatively great choice but i personally think that luxurious leisure is probably the best choice for her because it's way easier to work around with because you just get the ultimate mind out of the gate you get the damage dealt up and then that's all you really need so let's go ahead and talk about her portraits her portraits are very, very simple as P1 gives her 725% mental damage on the ultimate, which basically after her Thief Master reaches max, this becomes a 797 modifier, which essentially is an 800% modifier. I mean, 797, come on, dude. I mean, we're not, we're not going to really leave it at that, right? It's essentially an 800% modifier. There's really no difference between 797 and 800. And P2 gives her one more stack of these master. This is where you want to stop if you are pulling for Monalia. This is huge for her because giving her an extra stack of Thief master basically enables her to cycle into ultimate even faster because on the ideal rotation that you go for, let's just say you really just opt to use the AOE because you can't get a two star silent takedown, right? You just opt to use the AOE for the Moxie plus one, plus the plus one for using the card. Then you just get into um, whatever other skill you want. You will have ideally three Moxie at the end of the round. If you just use two actions with Monalia, that's assuming you AOE card. If you silent take down, it's the same thing. But with an additional stack of Thief Master, this means you could potentially end on four stacks of Moxie, which again only means she only needs just a single turn just to get right back into ultimate which is really really good and depending on the cards you have you can even potentially loop your ultimate so if you have higher tier cards when using other characters who can empower incantation for example someone like six who's a good support for her this could even allow you to loop ultimates pretty consistently to allow monalia to deal a huge huge chunk of damage in the team so that's why I do think that her P2 is a big, big buff for her and it should not be underestimated. I do think if you are um, pulling for Monalia ever in the future or you just happen to get an off matter Monalia or something, I mean, keep it in the back of your head that you want to keep her at P2. P2 is ideally her, her, her stopping point. Of course, if you want to go for the other ones, you can, of course, get more skills with the... Um, you get more damage with the regular modifiers at p3 p4 and at p5 it becomes 800 percent modifier on ultimate which after the Thief master it's 872 with uh luxurious leisure i believe that makes it about a 900 percent modifier which is pretty darn strong but yeah anyway let's go and talk about our build of choice our build of choice is simply going to be the crit build crit build very simple um with all your carries you always want to ideally build them into crit or build them just into attack. Crit is definitely more emphasized if you have two fairy. So if you have two fairy, then build crit. If you don't, then kind of maybe fall back on it. But yeah, that's ideally the build that we go for. And yeah, that's Monalia for you in a nutshell. She is just a character that really, really, really wants to be able to get her into her ultimate as quickly as she can. So by using her silent takedown or her clockwork uh, rats to get that bonus going as quickly as she can, then you simply have the opportunity just to start going off into the ridiculous eyewitness testimony, which does the big amount of damage, and then you go on from there. So, 
we're going to cut to the showcase, and I'll see you guys in just a moment. Peace. All right, guys, we're here now with the showcase, and this is the team we'll be using. We're going to be using Monalia with Six. Six, in particular, is probably one of her better partners due to the fact that uh, he can give her Empower Incantation up with five stacks of Eureka on his buff card, which is gonna be really good because this could potentially set us up to maybe loop ultimates with uh, Monalia, which is what we're gonna aim for in the video. And yeah, let's get right into it. Kinda hoping we get a good amount of crits too here, but let's go ahead and just start off by uh, building up some Moxie with Monalia and building up some Eureka with a uh, six. Ideally, we hope that six doesn't get dazed but if it happens, it happens. It's also important that we kind of pay attention a little bit to the moxie that's being uh, gained amongst the enemies as well. Because we can always use it as an opportunity to steal moxie. So, um, let's debuff again. Let's this, let's this. Um, we ideally want to stop them if they are going to be an ultimate though. Okay, nice if we get days like that we can always just use six to buff so which we will do actually in this turn so we can get rid of that so it gets rid of our days all right boom so we have access to ultimate ready Two fairies been dazed. That is a little unfortunate. So we'll just hold on to that two star heal for now. And I mean, I could go for the clockwork rats. Actually, no, 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 no. We're going to do this just to get the minus one. We don't want him to pop his ultimate. Ideally, you want to go for the two star cast, but I mean, it's not ready yet, so we can't really force it. There we go. Stopped his ultimate for a turn. And now we can get the self rank up effects coming from um, from uh, 6 as well too. So let's go ahead and just buff this. And then we will... Mm, we still have another stack of Clockworks Rad, do we? We do. So we could go for another disruption. We could. Actually, yeah, yeah, ah, yeah, 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 that, that's what we'll do. We'll go for another disruption. We'll do that, we'll buff for the rank up, we'll do this, and then we'll heal. Here we go. There we go, so we wanted to worry about it every other turn, essentially. All right, nice. So we can actually start looping ultimates uh, if we can get this going pretty consistently. Let me see. This and... Guess we will just spread another debuff. Okay, six has been dazed, so is Manalia. Unfortunate. That's fine. I guess we will just stall with two. We should have a heal card. We probably would have been in trouble. Yeah, we would have been in trouble. But we're good now, I think. So we can rebuff up again. We can we can we can cast ultimate on just about anybody. So we'll cast it on this guy. That should kill him. And we will take his Moxie. Until the torch is lit, 
the main boss is basically dead, so <laughs> we don't really need to worry about him. That's our second cast of ultimate, which we got crit that time. 34k, not bad. Then we'll take his moxie. You'll never see it coming. I feel like somebody's going to get that in the comments. Like, ah, I totally get the reference there. I feel like someone's going to get it. I think I'm going to go for the double rank up here. Just just so we can flex on him a little bit. Um, So we can get the plus one here. We can steal one here. And... Sure debuff? I mean, we can heal, but... It, it, I mean, do we really need to heal? Not really. We just kind of getting them more softened up for the uh, for the next attack that's coming. Too fair, almost died though because of my sins. Uh, let me see. Yeah, and we we pretty much win here. But then we can use this as a way to just kind of capitalize. Ooh, look at that 41k so that's full power right there basically so all right so that is going to be the showcase guys as always here's the damage breakdown Manalia did most of the damage 158k not bad at all and these are the skills we use we got three ultimates off which is not really something you really see too much in, in like short-term content like limbo but yeah but anyway this has been your boy Jess Singer and I'll see you guys next time peace